It's always awesome when a new bike park opens, especially here in the UK where MTB is not a mainstream sport. But I've seen some pictures and videos online of the bike park that we've traveled to today and it looks so much fun. So we decided to load the van up, drive two hours north and we're gonna shred Northampton Bike Park. Before you ride the bike park, if you've driven here, you obviously need to park your car. Now, this bike park is built on a disused nine hole golf course and the full, the main golf course is still fully operational. So you, so you share the car park, you get an hour free parking, but then you must pay using the app and the proceeds from that go towards maintaining the trails. It's just so sick to see councils popping up these bike parks because it's only going to progress the level of riding here in the UK and raise awareness and hopefully lead to more of these epic parks opening. I'm going to get the bikes out, get my gear on and then we'll head over and check out these sick trails that await. Forgot my riding gear. I guess luckily what I'm wearing I could actually ride in so I'm just going to be a casual mountain biker today. Right, we're all ready to go and shred, so let's make our way over to the trails. Right, we're now in the bike park, and the first thing we come to is the trail map, which looks full of trails. What do you think, Clara? Yeah, I think it looks cool. There's loads of different trails ranging from easy, moderate, difficult, and there's even some expert lines, so I'm interested to check them out. To start things off, I think we should check out the skills area, which is directly in front of us now. Nice, that's sick. Yeah. Nice. That's a perfect little warm-up zone for what else this place has to offer. I'm gonna be in audible today, if that's a word, because I've got the GoPro and the mouth mount. I love the angle, but obviously you won't hear me waffling on when we're riding. Some of you that might be a bit of peace and quiet. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the mouth mount? Do you prefer it when I'm talking? I don't know. Right, dual slalom, track, cara, you know the drill. I'm gonna give you a bit of a head start, see if I can overtake you. So when you're ready. Here she goes. And there, uh, because only a short track to do. This is quite quick these days. Whoa! No! No, you won! KJ! Yeah, but you did give me a head start though. Yeah, and I nearly died. I went so fast into one of the jumps. <laughs> Should we carry on? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. They were a couple of blues that are good warm-ups but also aim more at you beginner riders. We do have one more blue left to do which is blue none. I think it's a little bit more difficult working the way up to the red and then eventually the two black trails which actually have some pretty large kickers on them so I'm excited to get down there in a minute. But for now, are you following me? Yeah. Cara's going to follow me down blue none. We switched angles halfway there because on the berms car fell behind a little bit but that's insane you can literally hit them corners wide open and they just carry you around perfectly. We're now even back up and we're turning the difficulty up slightly because I'm going to jump up onto the red trail which has got some pretty inviting looking 
lips to send you airborne. Phew! That's quite nice. Sharp spin. Yeah. Oh, I oh, nearly went off the track. Nice set of jumps then. Very, very good. There's two black options and I think the one to the left is slightly more friendly than the one to the right. So we've got to hit the one on the left, so I think it's a bit of a bigger version of the red, and then we'll come back up and do a little course walk down the black one to show you the size, because they're pretty impressive how big the lips are for like a local bike park. But for now, jet black, let's drop in. Right, dropping into the first black trail then. So we've got a double start things off there nice we we'll hit the bigger shark fins on you hopefully it's not windy because these are decent size jumps like we're actually going quite quick now yeah you lovely nice you what a line that's so sick Yeah. Well the jumps on that were actually quite big and what I love about these little bike parks that we have in this part of the UK is like some of you watching this are probably used to big long mountain trails which are sick and it is what MTB is all about but we have like these small little jump bike parks, jump parks and you can get so many laps in they're just so good for sharpening your skills and they're quite sessionable because it's small everyone's in a tight space so it's really kind of social as well we're now going to go up onto the bigger black line but we're going to do a bit of a course walk because the last jump looks like it's quite a big lip right one of the first jumps that you come to on this line the first like proper jump is quite technical actually you drop in up there off the berm and then you hook it left you've got to keep the speed in the corner before sending it off this lip which is small but it's got quite a kick to it and it's a fair size gap you're then carrying so much speed and look at this it is sick it's a proper turn like that is a big berm and you're going to be able to stick to that and you need to keep the speed because it fires you into a big step down over there there we go this is a shark fin it's on the angle that's the gap that is quite a drop isn't it well that is a serious size jump and then just past that biggest jump here that's sick that's quite a mega booter isn't it it's really i reckon it's probably about eight foot and it's got a hip landing as well which is pretty cool there we go look at that from here so take off down there grab all the way it goes even further all the way into that landing which is so so sick right cherry bomb the biggest line here then let's get it this is quite a big lift i didn't even look at that one that gives you quite a pop so this is the first bit we looked at that technical corner nice you keep your speed the line's crucial on the berm you oh yes what a jump right cherry bomb from the side let's get it That's incredible, that trail. The jumps are really, really, they're, they're a nice size. It doesn't end there though, because in the woods, a gentleman, and if you're watching this, you know who you are, he told us there's some secret jumps there that we can go and check out. Before Tom shows you the secret zone, I've just had a power 20 minutes on this red trail, and I've got three of the jumps pretty good. It's just the last one that I can't get because it is really windy. So Tom is gonna follow me down it and show you my progress on this line so far. Oh, Sandra. I didn't clear it, but 
Oh, it's I'm headwind though. That. Yeah, that was hard. I did crank, but I don't think it worked. <laughs> we made it into the woods for the secret section and look at that. I mean, they're a bit run down, but that's quite a sizable gap there. So we're going to follow this line up and hopefully get it all in one. Tom's just trying to work out the speed for this because you enter this particular dirt jump from a really, really tight berm. So he's just done a few test runs and I think the next one is going to be either a clear or an engine case, he said. Over clear. You're still turning out the berm as you got the lip, which is kind of weird. That's tight. And there's a foliage. That is not good. I think that that is like pottery. Is that even safe to ride? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, little rolling look. All right. right, here we go then. Let's get it. That one's too broken, it's like a brick wall. What a day that has been. This place is incredible. The time now is half five and everyone's finishing work and it's getting pretty busy, which is so sick to see. If you're a council or you work for the council, take note, Northampton Bike Park, it's so insane what they've built. And I just love to see mountain biking being accepted and put into the community and growing. One of my favorite things about the bike park is how diverse it is for everyone. You've got the black trails with some pretty big bits there, which are really good. It's gonna make some good local riders, but you've also got some green ones for the kids and blues. There's, there's something for everyone. And I think that is really important. It's not long runs, it's not downhill trails. It's not like Bike Park Wales, for example, but for a local community spot, it's absolutely insane and I'd be so stoked if more of these started popping up. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you wanted to visit here, I'll leave the details for postcode and everything in the description. Please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a